I swear that first sip of coffee is mine. Yes, I still drink coffee. Don't judge me. I'm allowed one cup a day according to my doctor, so don't judge me. Anyways, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do my makeup, which I don't normally do. Like if you know me, you know that I don't ever wear makeup. I decided don't be a bum today. Get up, do your makeup, drink your coffee you'll be good. And I also, this morning, I started off my morning by watching and listening to my buddy's podcast, which is Jelly Filled Podcast, and you can just search it and find it here on YouTube, but holy shit, I feel inspired. <laughs> it's the best way to start the morning. If you haven't listened, go check him out. He's amazing. So anyways, let's just get started. This is just going to be like a very laid back, doing my makeup. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm kind of thinking like a green smoky eye. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll see how the cookie crumbles. So I already did all my skincare. So I'll start off, start, start off by priming my eyelids. I always start out with my eyes. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I start out with my eyes and that's just because there's fallout and it gets really messy and then you're not cute anymore. If it ruins your foundation, you know what I mean? Okay, let's just put this hair back. I hate it when my fucking ears show. Does anyone have that like insecurity? I hate it when my ears show. My big ass ears. <laughs> Leave me alone. I don't know how some people like get through the day without coffee. Like Obviously, I don't drink it every day anymore. I definitely like limit how much caffeine intake I have because do not do it yourself. Oh shit. Anyways, I definitely try to limit the amount of caffeine that I have just because I'm pregnant and you don't want to be drinking a shitload of caffeine. But I do have like a cup in the morning. I'm a mom and I also do childcare right now, so I need to be awake. I'm just not one of those people that can just drink tea and sing kumbaya and they're just like happy and they can just do whatever they want and they have all the energy in the world. That's not me. Like I need coffee, sis. Oh my God, I'm so good. Okay. So I'm gonna be using the Morphe concealer to prime my lids. I always use concealer to prime my lids. And this is the shade C1. 0.65 This is what it looks like. This is such a good concealer and I have like really dry sensitive skin So if you have dry sensitive skin, this would be really good for you. I think Fuck I didn't dampen my sponge I'll be back Okay Back in business That's the kind of shit that happens when you don't have coffee. You don't dampen your fucking sponge. You don't do what you need to do. That's just going in with my Morphe concealer. And hopefully the setup is a little better. I got some complaints last time that I had the mirror in my face a lot, which I did. But my setup was a little more ghetto. My last video, I got like a new desk and stuff. Well, it's not new. My dad was like cleaning his house and he had this like nice glass desk that he's like never used. And I was like, give it to me. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking turn it into like a ghetto vanity. So that's exactly what I did. So now I have like all my skincare, all my makeup, my palettes and everything right here. This concealer is full coverage. It smells like shit. It really does. Like I hate the smell of the, this concealer, but it gets her done, okay? It gets her done. I'm just gonna blend that out. I fucking hate this eye. I have like wrinkles like right here. I know, I'm so young and I have wrinkles. And my life is fucking great. But um, they just never go away. Like no matter how much I like conceal, uh, prime them, whatever. They just don't go away. Okay, so now I'm just gonna set it with my Fit Me loose setting powder in, this is the shade Fair Light. This is the best drugstore loose powder that you can ever get. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this in like both my other videos, but I'm telling you, 
like this is the best it just has the best like blurring effect and just smooths out your skin set the concealer for some reason this whole pregnancy i haven't been able to fucking drink like hot coffee like if i drink coffee it has to be like iced i know i'm fucking dramatic but today i was like you know what i like really just want hot coffee there's just something about hot coffee when it's like sunny and cold in the morning and it's just it's like the best i don't even know okay so for eyeshadow today i'm gonna use the daisy marquez and bh cosmetics palette which if you don't know what this palette looks like it looks like this she did an amazing job beautiful colors but i'm just gonna be using like the green shades I have like super poopy brown eyes, so if you have soupy, soupy, <laughs> super poopy brown eyes, green shadow is everything. I am telling you, everything. So I'm just gonna take this. I literally don't even know what this says, but I got it forever. I got it in, in a boxy charm. But I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna dip into like the brown shade to use as a transition. I'm just gonna blend that in the crease. Oh, and about my buddy's podcast, I'll link him in the description box so you guys can check him out. But I literally, like, I always start the morning out, like, listening to a podcast or something. And it's just great. It's a great way to start the morning. It's nice to hear, like, what everyone's doing and, like, people's, like, different perspectives and outlooks on life and stuff. And I feel like it's just really inspiring. It's inspiring to like wake up in the morning and like listen to them and then like drink your coffee and yell at the kids, whatever you do. So yeah, shout out to Isaac. You're doing a fucking great job with your podcast, man. And I'm just gonna blend that in the other side, just in the crease, very lightly, but very high above the crease because I have kind of like hooded eyes. So I blend pretty high. And then just because I don't want the crease color to go away or disappear. But a secret that I have or like that I do, as you're doing your eyeshadow, just blend them out with your transition color and it'll never go away. And it will just look more seamless. But I mean, who the fuck am I? I am not a professional. This is just what works for me. Like I in no way, shape or form claim to be a professional because I'm fucking not. <laughs> I have like so much to learn, but I just tell you guys what works for me. And you know what? It might not work for you. That's totally fine. Everybody's different. So I'm super excited for October. I'm, I'm just like over the summer, first of all. I'm pregnant, so I haven't been able to like really enjoy it. I go out in the sun for two seconds and I have fucking heat stroke or heat exha exhaustion or something. So I stay in my air conditioned apartment, which is fine. Keeps me alive. Um, or like if I'm outside, I have to be like near water, like some form of like body of water, <laughs> like a lake or a river. Like I can do that. Cause when I start to overheat, I can just dip in the water and then I'm good to go. But I just haven't been able to do much this summer and that's kind of shitty, but I'm so excited for like next summer and stuff and I won't be pregnant anymore or my baby will be here. Anyways back to October. I'm over the summer and I cannot wait for fall. I'm gonna decorate my apartment all fucking cute. Like I already have all the Pinterest ideas. <laughs> I'm also having my baby shower in October, which is gonna be like spooky Halloween themed. And I'm super excited for that. Like that's, I'm so excited. <laughs> I love Halloween. Like that's definitely like my favorite holiday ever. And I'll be so close to like having my baby in a couple months after that, like a month after that. It's just so exciting. I know I took like a long time to blend this color out, but you really want to. Like when you're doing your eyeshadow, you need to take your time and fucking blend or that shit's gonna look harsh. It's gonna look cakey and just disgusting. You don't wanna look like that. You don't wanna look like the side chick. You wanna look like the main chick. And also, none of my fucking clothes fit me right now. Like, before the summertime, I literally went and bought, like, a whole new summer wardrobe. 
because I didn't think I was gonna be pregnant, obviously. And of course, I can't wear any of it because nothing fits me. So if you see me and you see me in like a baggy t-shirt in an ugly ass pair of shorts, <laughs> like stretchy spandex shorts, don't fucking judge me. Mind your business. I'm going for shit. <laughs> Just an update on the baby. So I am officially 18 weeks and not this coming Monday, but the Monday after I have an ultrasound for my second trimester and I get to see her and she's gonna be so much bigger. She doesn't look like a little fucking alien anymore. She looks like a baby. You can like feel her move and I have my energy back, which is fucking great. I'm just like so happy. I don't know. So besides this palette, I'm also gonna take, sorry, I have all my palettes down here. I'm gonna take this ColourPop, the Lucky, or just my luck palette. It's fucking amazing. Like, look at that. So pretty. And, and I'm also gonna use that for my eyes as well. So I'm gonna go into the ColourPop palette and I'm gonna dip into Kiss My Hass. Huh, <laughs> that's cute, that's cute. Just the middle shade right here. And I'm just gonna take that on the same brush. And I'm also gonna pop that on the outer corner and work that into the crease. Doing like an intense look is always so fucking scary. First of all, you look terrifying when you start, like until the very end when like everything comes together. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Anyways, the scariest fucking thing happened to me. So I, my last prenatal appointment, this was a couple weeks ago, but I haven't filmed since then. My last prenatal appointment, I had to see a different um, OB because mine was on vacation. So if you need to have like a prenatal appointment, my doctor will just like, she'll send me to another doctor. Um, but she was on vacation. So I had to see this guy and he's not my normal doctor. And he could not find the baby's heartbeat for like 10 minutes and it scared the shit out of me. And then he's like, um, I'm not finding her heartbeat, so I'm gonna go get the ultrasound thing. This is how I know she's gonna be so big because he brought the like little like ultrasound thing in and he put it on my belly. And as soon as he put it on my belly, he of course found her heart heartbeat and she was like, fine. She was right there. And um, she was huge. I was like, holy shit, she's, that is like inside of me. Like that is insane. Full profile everything. Straight baby. I was like, oh my god, I cannot fucking wait. Like, and I've definitely gotten a lot bigger, so I already know, like, she might be a big girl. Brayden was almost nine pounds. <laughs> Thank god for C-sections. I mean, not talking shit if you haven't gotten one. Like, of course, like, going into, you know, when you have your first kid, like, you want do everything all natural you like don't want to have a c-section like that's a terrifying thought but thank god that i do brayden i didn't dilate past three centimeters and i was in a hard labor for like two days and i literally didn't dilate past three centimeters so i'm hoping like well like everyone says your babies get bigger like with every baby but i'm hoping <laughs> she's not gonna be like humongous so i'm just really blending this into my crease and building it up slowly now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this dark green right here it's called mo bomba and i'm gonna put that all over my lid i know it sounds scary right now but i promise it'll work out and to do that i'm just gonna use my finger is so pigmented. ColourPop really has like the best eyeshadows. Okay, like that, and I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not, I'm just kidding. No, I'm gonna, it looks scary right now, but I'm gonna take that last green shade that we used and I'm gonna blend it all out.
kind of make it less harsh. If you hear any like chewing noises or like heavy breathing, my dog is in here with me because she doesn't leave me alone. And I'm just gonna add that more of that to like right here because it didn't stick very well. And then I'm just gonna blend. One eye always turns out better than the other. I don't know why. I guess that's just the way life goes. If you also hear any gun shooting. Oh my god, I look fucking scary. The little guy that I'm watching today is in the living room playing Fortnite, so. I swear, I don't live in like a ghetto neighborhood and there's just people shooting each other. So I plan on getting my maternity pictures done at the beach next month. And then I also plan on getting more done like in the fall time. Just because I've always wanted like fall maternity pictures. I feel like those are the best. And I'm just really into like the spooky vibes, you know? I've always really been into like spooky shit. I'm gonna go back into the transition shade that I started with, blend out the edges. But yeah, in all honesty, I like, I'm so excited for my daughter to be here that I'm just like over being pregnant. And also this pregnancy has just been like really hard. And I don't really talk to anyone about it. Like I talk to my sisters, of course, cause they're like my best friends, but um, I don't feel like I talk enough. So then I just have all this like shit bottled up inside of me and just really hard. I feel like the only time I like really open up to anyone that's not my sisters is like when I'm on here filming with you guys. And I mean, that's like a good feeling. Like, I appreciate you guys watching me and like listening to me. I know I'm like annoying sometimes and like fucking dramatic, whatever. But you literally have no idea like how much it means to me. And it really makes me sad like how long like I've wanted to do this. And I was just so scared too, because I was so scared of like, just like what people would think about me, but you know what? Life's too short for that shit. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this big Banks color right here. It's like a really shimmery green. And I'm gonna put that all over the lid as well. Just to like add some pop to this bitch. I mean like not that, the green isn't pop in enough, but like, you know. And I'm also using my finger for that. If you want the best pigmentation for like your shimmers and stuff, use your finger. It's like the best. I never get the same like result with a brush and I'm adding shimmer. So I think I'm gonna film another video after this, which, um, yeah. And then I think later I'm gonna take my dog to the doggy park because it's a beautiful day. She does so good at the dog park. Like, I took her to this really busy one for the first time the other day and she did so good. And my dog is six months old, she's still a baby. She did so good, like she never strayed off too far. She never barks at other dogs. Like she's just like the sweetest dog. Granted, she's like still potty training, which is difficult, but she's gonna get the hang of it. And I think she's gonna go into heat soon, which is also, Really sad. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the ColourPop liquid liner, which these are fucking bomb. Like this is the blackest eyeliner I think I've ever used. And I'm just gonna line my eyes. I'm not gonna do a wing or anything. You wanna get as close to the lash line as you can. And I put the, like, the liner on its side. Like I don't like go in like this. I tilt it to the side and it makes it a lot easier. You have more control. Now I'm gonna add some mascara. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. This shit <laughs> makes her eyelashes snatched. Apply some of this. 
just so that the falsies blend in or my eyelashes blend in with the falsies better. I am like so jealous of all the girls that have like naturally fucking long eyelashes. It makes me so frustrated. <laughs> And I used to get eyelash extensions, which I fucking love so much, but it like broke my eyelashes and it was so hard to like grow them out and stuff. Like I was constantly having to wear falsies and it was just in the way. Now I'll be right back. I'm going to go pop up some, pop up, <laughs> Fuck. pop on some lashes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I just did my lashes and now we can start with the base. <sighs> but first, coffee. So I always start out with a facial spray just because it just makes everything like smooth and hydrated. So I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose Spray, which these are amazing. These smell so fucking good. And they're so cheap, so I mean. Get in my coffee. I'm gonna take the um, Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer, which this is a really good primer for like pore filling and stuff. And I'm just gonna put that where I need it the most. And this is like five dollars, I think. Which where I need it the most is like around my nose, cause you know you girl be having those pores right there. And then in between the brows. And then the chin right now is like <laughs> not a friend. I'm going camping at the end of the month, so in a couple weeks. And my family got like a houseboat. And I'm so fucking excited to just be on the lake for five days. <gasps> I'm so excited. I'm gonna use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 foundation, and this is in the shade Creamy Vanilla. This is a really good foundation for dry and oily skin. Like, if you have dry skin, if you prep your skin the right way and use this, it's a beautiful foundation, especially for like summertime. I hope this is my color right now. I don't really know. This is like one of my summer foundations. It's like full coverage. Like, this looks like it might be a little light, actually. Oh well, we'll make it work. So if I'm using like a super full coverage like foundation, I will like use a little bit and then like just put it as far as it will go. Cause I don't need, I don't feel like I need like super full coverage and I don't like to cover my freckles. So, so I tend to stay away from foundations that like dry down too fast because that just doesn't work for me. I'm gonna go back in with that, um, Morphe concealer. Just a little bit. Now I'm gonna take um, that same powder that I use for my eyes. I'm just gonna put it where I put the concealer. And then I'm gonna take a brush like this. This is just a Morphe brush. I don't know which one it is. It's got black stuff all over it because I'm really bad at cleaning my brushes, but I'm gonna take that powder and then I'm just gonna set my whole face. On like a daily basis, I don't set my whole face. Which you would have seen in my last video which I will also link my last video below. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'm extremely awkward, but you know what? I appreciate the support. <laughs> and I appreciate y'all that have like stuck with me because it's definitely been a journey. I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild bronzer and this is in the shade 
Sunset Striptease. This bronzer has like a little bit of shimmer in it, but I love it. And I'm just using a Wet n Wild stipple brush that I got from like the dollar store. I'm gonna go back in and like add some color to the face because this shade was a little light for me. Get rid of this fatal ass double chin right here. I went to bed like really sad last night and I woke up like extremely happy. If that doesn't explain pregnancy for you, like, I don't know what else does. Basically, I'm a fucking mess. <laughs> you know what? Like, I'm gonna film for you guys, for you guys and show you my happy side. Cause she's rare. I know, I'm such a joy. I'm gonna go into this blush palette that I have and I'm gonna use this shade in the corner right here. Got some shimmer on it. You know what? I'll mix some of that too. So pretty. <laughs> and I also blend it in with my um, bronzer a little bit, just so that it looks more blended. And then I put some on my nose. I just like to look like I've been in the sun. Okay, now we're gonna go in and finish the eyes. So I'm gonna take this little like pencil brush and I'm gonna go back into this ColourPop palette, the Just My Lip palette. And I'm gonna take this green up here, Kiss My House. And I'm just gonna put that on the lower lash line. You gotta love the different like makeup faces that girls make. <laughs> like when I say I want this to be a smoked out green eye, this is gonna be a smoked out hot boxed green eye. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my face with some setting spray and I'm gonna again go with it, go in with the wet wild. I probably use a lot more than I need to, but you know what? Setting spray just like <sighs> brings me back to life. Then what I'm gonna do while this is still a little like damp I'm gonna go into this ColourPop highlighter in Counting Sheep, and these are the Super Shock Cheek Highlighters. They're so bomb and so pretty. They're my favorite highlighters, but they're like super creamy, so you have to be really careful. So that's why with these, I usually prefer to like use a sponge, like squeeze the sponge and use it so that you can make it precise if you want, and then go in. They just blend out like a lot easier that way. Like, do you see this? And then I smile because I put some on my cheeks. Looks better in photos. There. Hit the tip of the nose. Hit the cupid's bow. I love chin highlight. Don't ask me why, I don't know, but I love putting it on. It just makes me look so wet. I love it. So I'm gonna use this Scone Brow Wand Pencil. It's just an eyebrow pencil. Brush my brows out. I don't do a whole lot to my brows. My brows are pretty full. So what I do is I just line my brows on the top and the bottom. Just like that, and a little spoolie. That to the brow. And then, like this shit like save my eyebrows. I go in with a Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel. This shit's amazing. Like if you don't like to do anything with your brows really, buy this. Like it's kind of, it's like $19, but it lasts forever and 
this is like literally all you need for your eyebrows. And you always start at the end. Because if you start at the beginning of your brow, it could look too harsh. And you don't want that. And I like my brows to look like bushy and like full, you know? See, look at the difference, that one and that one. One thing that I like love to see, like on my social media and stuff, I love to see moms like get ready for the day. There's nothing wrong, like if you don't, like, cause honestly, I never get ready. I look like a bum probably like 98% of the time. I just like love to see it. And I hate it when uh, like other moms are like, how do you like be a mom? And how do you do your makeup when you're a mom? Like, bitch, what do you mean? Babies take naps and it's so important to have like you time. I'm just taking that highlighter that I used, that ColourPop one, and I'm just highlighting my brow. Bang. It's so important as a mom, especially if you're a stay at home mom, to like get ready and love yourself and feel good about yourself. My mom's always told me, you know what, like no matter what you're feeling, get up and put your makeup on. Get up, put your makeup on, and do what you gotta do. And that's stuck by me. Like, like days that I feel extra shitty, I just get up and I get ready. So now I'm gonna take mascara and do my bottom lashes. I'm gonna spray my face again. And this time I'm gonna use the Anastasia Dewy Set Spray. This shit, amazing. Same packaging as like the Mac Fix Plus if you have that. Next up is lips. So I'm gonna use this Morphe liquid lipstick in the color Taunt. It's just like a nude brown. And there's that. And this is the final look. I honestly like love how it turned out. Let me bring you closer. Okay. So this is the final look. Super dewy. Um, super green, which I love. And yeah, and the eyes. So yeah, anyways, thank you for chatting with me, listening to me be annoying, whatever. I appreciate it so much and I love you guys so much. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Love you.